This is part two in the arms and the backswing tutorial. If you haven't seen part one, please go watch it. If you remember from the last video, this is what the arms actually should be doing in the backswing. When you isolate the arms, they just do this. They just fold up. Think in terms of folding your trail arm. Now we're not gonna need a club for this. What this drill is, I call it hitching a ride. You take your bicep, your trail bicep for your trail arm, put it on your chest, and then put your other hand on your bicep just above the elbow. We want to stabilize this, we want to isolate it so your bicep's not moving. And then we want to take your other hand, your hand, and just hit your rod. Hit your rod. Hit your rod. Just do this little hit your rod movement. This is how your trail arm folds in the backswing. Just hit your rod. Your trail arm is really the driver of your backswing position. Your lead arm just kind of stays straight the whole time. Your trail arm, hit your rod. I want you to do this a hundred times. Use a clicker. Do it in five repetition intervals. Just one, two, three, four, five. Do it at least a hundred times. Now you notice when you do this, I want you to bring your arm pretty much vertical. Okay? Vertical. When you hit your rod. Don't do it like this. Don't do, keep it halfway. It's vertical. Vertical. If anything, you should make it too vertical as opposed to not vertical enough. You'll understand in the next lesson why that makes sense. Hit your rod. Keep it vertical. Very simple movement. Uh, like I said, the back, getting to your backswing position for your arms is actually really simple as long as you learn these little drills. I'm going to drill it into you and you won't have any problem. Again, it's just hit your rod. Hit your rod. Hit your rod. Do that a hundred times.